This is Crystal on the Blood of Jesus channel. Here's my panoramic view, which I always do. Here at the Douglasville Very Improper Apartment, here in Douglasville, Georgia. We got the Blue Man crew. The guy that sits in his blue car used to, used to sit there smoking a pipe for hours. I don't know what he's doing now since he moved to the other building, but got him in view. Anyway, God is good. This is the Blood of Jesus channel. Where Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. I'll always say that. It'll always be true. You know, Jesus is coming back pretty soon, you all. I say pretty soon because, I mean, wow, if you listen to all the what do you call it? Prophecies given? Can All of them are God. Many of them are God. Most of them that I listen to by a spirit-filled person are of God. The rapture happens sometime after it gets pretty bad, but before um, the end of the world, whether you think it's hype or not, make it ready. Jesus Christ is coming. The end of this world is coming. Why? Because of things people do. People, people choose the wickedness. Choose to do sin. Choose to break God's commandments. Thou shalt not commit adultery. You choose to commit adultery. Thou shalt not kill. You choose to kill. Thou shalt love thy neighbors as self. You choose not to love your neighbors. You love yourself. Meaning not to treat uh, people the way you want people to treat you. Thou shalt not covet. And thou shalt not covet anything that is our neighbors. You choose to covet or want or crave stuff that belongs to other people or just to be covetous, period. The commandments. The earth, according to God, the world's been destroyed through violence and breaking of his commandments. He's not pleased or happy about that at all. This message I'm giving, it may sound so simple, but God is patting me on the back and appreciative that I'm giving this message because you have no excuse now. You learn, oh, that's what it's about? Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The way you want men to treat you, treat them. So, now you know, you can never say you weren't told, you can never say you never heard the gospel of Jesus Christ, you can never say that. Lord, I didn't know. Some people will say that, God said. He said, you know, he said, get away from me. I never knew you. You did work iniquity. So, God's been this and changed some hearts. I know that. Too many prayers are being made by the children of God, and God does not neglect or ignore those prayers. So, he is going to change some hearts because he wants people to be saved. Not just people that go to church that found Jesus already. He wants people that are doing diabolical things on a regular basis to be saved. He wants you to stop, but he wants them to be saved too. So he's making a last ditch effort by getting his word out there to get people to listen and to change. He's gonna change some hearts and minds, I promise you. Somebody you know, or as you heard of, or you've been acquainted with, or you have um, uh, come across that was doing all kinds of diabolical acts, or maybe doing the same acts that you're doing, that are wicked and ungodly. I promise you guys about to touch some hearts and you're going to see <clears throat> certain people change into a whole new creature. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, that means woman or boy, man. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Praise God. And God is able. God can do it. So this is Crystal on the Blood of Jesus channel. Here in Douglasville, Georgia, at the Douglasville Very Improper Apartments, where Jesus Christ is Lord. I'm telling you, he's Lord because he's boss. Regardless of what's going on, what you think, what I think, he's he's Lord. He's boss. I'll be back in a moment. I'm not actually cutting away, but I am going to be taking a phone call. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Woo! My God, it's so cold. 
of Chicago Avenue yet? Almost. So cold, it's, it's like I had a sock. I went to the mailbox, it was so cold, I put one of those thick socks on my hand, literally, because I don't have winter gloves. I didn't really think you needed them down here in Georgia. I've been here 11 years. I don't have gloves and coats standing by. I got a coat standing by, but not gloves. So, anyway, yeah, it's so cold, my hand was freezing, and I put on one of those thick, footy uh, socks furry things that people wear. I put that on my hand when I came back from the mailbox is what I'm trying to say. Beside the point, Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's really real. He's really real. Like I heard somebody once say, you better get some of that hatred stuff out of your heart before Jesus comes back. And it's not a joke. It's not a game. You running from man and scared of man and scared man gonna be upset with you if you don't uh, bow down to this or don't do that. Let me tell you something. You think of that multiplied by 80 million. So that is the wrath of God. If, you're, if he comes back and you haven't accepted him and you're not living a Christ-like life. So it's better to please God rather than man, the Bible says. We ought to pre please God rather than man. And so that's the bottom line of it. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. And uh, just like in the days of Noah, he's coming back, or well, he's going to destroy the earth, I should say. And he's coming back to get his people. So in the days of Noah, the Bible said they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage. But they were, of course you're going to eat and drink, but they were ignoring God. Just living their own life, partying, what, he, what he's saying. Just doing all the worldly things without considering God, period. It made him so angry and so sad. It said it grieved him in his heart that he had made man. Have you ever been grieved in your heart? Sure you have. Grieved in your heart that you get, didn't get something you wanted. Grieved in your heart that something didn't go the way you wanted to go. Where it just grieved you and gripped you and made you angry and sad and hurt at the same time. Guess what? God felt that way about mankind. It said it grieved him in his heart that he had made man. And so he destroyed the earth with a huge flood. Yes, he did. And so, but he's about to do the same thing. He said, you got to do it with a flood. Won't be water. The Bible says, but fire next time. Woo! It is so cold out here. But it's worth getting the gospel out here. To anyone under the sound of my voice, I know there's many. Because you listen on everything else. So you listen on this. You're listening on this. You shouldn't be, but you are. You got to catch on to Jesus Christ. You got to choose him. You got to stop it and stop teaching your kid or kids or cousins, however you do it, to do evil. You better choose Jesus Christ, I'm telling you. There's a heaven to gain and a horrible place to shun. A heaven to gain. This is Crystal on the Blood of Jesus channel. And Jesus Christ is real. Nothing is in secret. There's no secrets with God. It says the night and the day are both alike unto thee. That's what the Bible says. So when God looks out at night, the deepest dark, midnight, like when you think you're out there, can't nobody see you, you're hanging out and all that because you think whatever you're trying to do can't be seen, God sees it as a bright shining light all over. It doesn't look dim to him or dark. It doesn't. So this is Crystal on the Blood of Jesus channel. Here in Douglasville, Georgia, at the Douglasville Very Improper Apartments. And I'm harping on this. I'm telling you this repeatedly over and over because it's very true. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is coming back one day. And he's going to catch up his people. What does that mean? We're going to go up in the clouds with him. Leave the earth literally and just ascend feet into the air. Many feet and then go up with him into the air. That's it, with him and his angels. And then his leaving the earth, he won't be in the earth. And what you find out if you got left is how you wish you had have known God and Jesus. You'll wish that so bad because he's taking himself out of the earth and he's going to let the lawless one, Satan, rule. You think he's ruling now? <laughs> Laugh out loud. I'm telling you, it's going to be horrible. And it's going to be so horrible, the Bible says men will seek death. 
they'll seek to, to die themselves. They want to die. It's just so bad. It says, and death will flee from them. This is a punishment from God. You will want to die. You will. That's how bad it'll be. You won't be on top. You won't be doing your thing. You will be in trouble. A whole lot of it. And you'll seek to die. You'll want to die. The Bible says so. And death will flee from you. That's the scripture. It'll run from you. So Satan knows all this is real. He knows every single word of it is real. And there's so much more than what I'm saying. So I would suggest catching on to Jesus Christ of Nazareth as soon as possible. Remembering that he is Lord. And um, get you a Bible. Say your prayer. And say, I don't want to uh, go through all of that. I just want heaven and you, Jesus. And so that's the thing to do. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. This is Crystal on the Blood of Jesus channel here in Douglasville, Georgia, at the Douglasville Very Improper Apartments, where Jesus Christ is Lord. And I say that regardless of the acts that are committed here, things that are done here, I say Jesus Christ is Lord because he is. He's Lord here. Every, every, he's Lord of all, the Bible says. It says every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Every knee's going to bow. Every tongue is going to confess. That's what, God, that's what God made it. He said, you won't accept me willingly, but on judgment, you're going to accept me. Your knee is going to hit the ground and you're going to say, Jesus, you are Lord. And your tongue is going to say it. So that's how God has got this thing set up. So choose you this day, the Bible says, who you will serve. Whether the false gods that the sinners served on the side of Egypt or the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But as for me and my house, the Bible says, we shall serve the Lord. This has been Crystal on the Blood of Jesus channel here in Douglasville, Georgia at the Douglasville Very Improper Apartment where Jesus loves you. He really does. He wants you to be saved. There's something other than man that's going to get you. People scared of man. God is saying, consider me. Consider him. And once God got you, you've been God. You've been God. So Jesus Christ is Lord. This is Crystal on the Blood of Jesus channel. Bye for now.